One of the headlines on the Hill today is that the Justice Department has demanded 1.3 million, million IP addresses related to a Trump resistance site. That's what we're talking about here. They are asking for IP addresses uh, for people that are resistant to Trump who are his political opponents. The D Department of Justice has requested information on visitors to a web website used to organize protests against President Trump. The Los Angeles-based Dreamboat said in a blog post published on Monday. Uh, uh, dream, not Dreamboat, Dreamhost. Wow, what, what's the Freudian slip there? Uh, Dreamhost, a web hosting provider, said that it had been working with the Department of Justice for several months on the request, which believes goes too far under the con Constitution. Dreamhost claimed that the complying that the complying with the request from the Department of Justice would amount to handling handing over roughly 1.3 million visitor IP addresses to the government, in addition to contact information, email content, and photos of thousands of visitors to the website, which was involved in organizing protests against Trump on Inauguration Day. That information could be used to identify any individuals who use the site to exercise and express political speech protected under the Constitution's First Amendment. Dreamhost wrote in a blog post on Monday, that should be enough to set alarm bells off in anyone's mind. When contacted, the Justice Department directed the Hill to the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. The U.S. Attorney's Office declined to comment, but provided the filings related to the case. The company is currently challenging the request. A hearing on the matter is scheduled for Friday uh, in Washington. So this uh, company, Dreamhost, again, is thinks this request is unconstitutional, that the Department of Justice, headed by Attorney General Jeff Sessions, is requesting for 1.3 million IP addresses of people who could be protesting against Trump and contact information. Their uh, faces, pictures of them, uh, their emails, uh, and it's fascism 101 and it's not getting reported because yes the charlottesville protests are extremely upsetting but uh these are kind of the quiet things that go a a around behind the scenes that we have to pay attention to and we have to bring light to because that's unbelievable i mean w anyone who's concerned about privacy anyone who sees edward snowden as a champion and as a hero like i do should be absolutely concerned about this yeah i mean it, it's all like it's all a red herring. I mean, it's un American. When they, when they are asking for data from all the states for voter fraud uh, and now asking for IP addresses, it's un American. Frankly, it's fascism. This is how fascism starts. Um, you know, people are worried about net, neut net neutrality and, and those kinds of things. But I mean, when Jeff Sessions, by the way, this story didn't get a lot of coverage. Literally, uh, I believe during Jeff Sessions um, swearing in or um, hearing, for getting approved as the uh, Department of Justice, he they, literally somebody laughed and was charged with laughing at Jeff Sessions. Right. And literally was charged. I think she got like a one year sentence. I don't know where that process is in. So you have a Justice Department run by this guy who's trying to uh, roll back everything, civil rights, uh, empower police departments even further, decriminalize again, marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, and, and coupled with a president who he's trying to get back in his good graces. Essentially, this is beyond just privacy issues. This is freedom, right? This is, this is basically opening the door for political retribution for people exercising their First Amendment right. So that's an issue, whether you're progressive or like a total batshit right-wing person, in my view. Yeah. Like, if they start doing this, where does it stop? If this becomes the normal thing that you could start at, be asking for people's IP addresses, can you start asking for their cell phone numbers, for their home addresses? You know, in Flint, there's cops right now knocking on people's doors that signed the recall for the mayor. Can people start, can government officials or the FBI start knocking on doors because they don't like something you said uh, on a anti-Trump or resistance uh, chat? So it's, it's, it's really scary. And, you know, I think as strong as uh, Democrats and Republicans came out against this KKK st rally, people should come out against this too. Yeah, um, I think it, it, it's concerning because Jeff Sessions has shown uh, authoritarian following tendencies. Uh, Trump has essentially treated him like a human uh, punching bag, uh, and now he still is doing this, his bidding. He wants to crack down again on marijuana, roll back any protections that the 
Obama administration put in place uh, in terms of civil forfeiture. Obama was very good on that issue, uh, and, and role, which disproportionately affects poor and minority people um, and allows the police to just take what they want from them before a conviction even happens. Uh, and this is in that same vein of kind of authoritarian fascism cracking down on any kind of resistance and just allowing the American people to uh, be treated like uh, this kind of monolith that the government can just impose their will upon. Uh, and that's what Jeff Sessions is. He's an old school racist and an old school authoritarian. And I hope this story gets a little bit more coverage.